And violence. It looks upon this terrible and miraculous moment, and they see it as an opportunity to revisit. Oh, she knows who Anna is. Ooh. That bell's a girl-made food. You hungry? What? Food? Put it in that big hole in your face. <laughs> I need to talk to all of them. Big talk. Yeah, Christian's great <laughs> conversationalist. I don't know if that meant good or bad, that face Bobby just made. Where well, there might not be a home left to return to. Or so he's not in the future. He's got a point. Ship might. Maybe we're not enough to make a difference. But I'm not gonna hide out here while everyone I give a shit about burns back home. I get them. But at the same time, at least those other be two realistic. Are the not to wear that uniform. We're at war. No one's a civilian now. Okay, alright kids, enough's enough. Oh, me, right, Bobby, down. or Amos so in here now? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, no. Oh, fuck. Why would they leave Alex and me alone? Shit. Oh, my God. This is annoying. I need full access to Penhouse. Besides conscience. She wrote the speech that created his political career. They share a lot of history. If she snows to Jabir, right? Get to her. Get to Anna, and Anna gets to the president. Why does it start? This is a tough decision to make. I kind of think Christian's right in this slightly more than them. Just slightly. I, I could go either way. It doesn't matter, it's junk. I can't abandon two of my credit. I know you understand that. Start to feel a little bit ungrateful. Oh, God, God I hate these people. I hate these people. They are not making their case for Martians. Bobby made a great case for Martians, but now it's all going downhill. Bobby. No, oh god, hold it. Hot bitch. Dumbass. Yeah, Martians are so small. Oh, God. Where is Bobby when you need her? Didn't know where the ammo was. Or Amos. Where is Bobby and Amos? They could take these guys out easily. I just sent out the master warrant, which means... It's where nobody shoots anybody. Let's try for that one. Hey, fellas. Oh! <laughs> the little boy just walks in like, hey. So what's all the ruckus? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Amos, just walking in. Oh, brought him up, at least. Shit. Did I miss it? <laughs> he did. Come on, Amos. This was your chance to fight. Calls coming in from everyone. No, you twisted my words. You made me part of everything that I hate about all of this. That's not I fair. can't believe I fell for this again. I am so happy. Son way too happy. You so. snapped your fingers, and I am right back to follow the blood. The world needs right you now. You don't get to speak to, to me. Woo! Yes, bitch. Love you, Anna. You could have been better than this. Somewhere inside, you buried under all that ambition. I'm sorry I was so wrong. She is cutthroat, and I love it. She should be pissed, and I hope she does. I don't know. She works with Christian. She needs something. I love her. It's nice to be working on something this easy to repair. Oh, I do miss the Naomi Amos relationship, but Amos has a right to be pissed. Why me? Your friend with the gun hurt my feelings. Seems to be the way she walks in. Yes, the UN Deputy Undersecretary. It's going to be very tedious if you remain with them. I don't 
understand what the hell kind of a ship is this? <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of everyone on here. Yes, exactly. Or hold you here can space the three of you for being such intolerable idiots. <laughs> Honestly, I yeah. don't know either way. Yeah. <laughs> I love those so much. I love them all. This is fantastic. Which is nothing. Can't forget you. Oh, she's about to get the message. Yep, she's not leaving anytime soon. I'm assured and I'll be quick. Over Ganymede. And I gave the order. And I can give the same order. Win your life. Oh, Anna's getting in the game now. You just can't help yourself, can you? Saving everyone. He has the hero complex. It's a hundred percent true. He's not looking so bright right now, though. Oh God! Oh no! His skin's ripping apart. Oh, 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 my God. What? So connected. What? In the Holy Heart. talking to the rest of the Mark infestations. You are right to continue. No. He's the key to everything. Ew, no. There should be no continuing after seeing that. You see that and that makes you want to continue? Mal! What the fuck? Like, what? Oh my god! This was such a good episode. Another good episode. I swear, the show just keeps me in good episodes. There was no space battle this episode, but there was still a lot that happened. So I'm just going to go right into my notes. So this episode, we do get a little bit of drama, which, I mean, oh wait, what am I talking about? I gotta do my ranking, storyline rankings. So, I'm gonna put number three easily. Mm, oh, no. Ooh, I don't know. Get yeah, number three, I'm gonna put Jules P. Amal. His story. It's, that ending almost puts him to number two. So close. But number two, I will put the people on Earth the president, Anna, um, Sadavir, all that. And then number one, the. Um, oh, Lord. Oh my, I forgot the name of that ship. I hate it so badly that I've just been forgetting about it. I blocked it out. I wrote it down in my old notes. Let me look. No. That's no. Nancy Chu, Hannibal, uh, experience. Um, Contorto. Yeah, hate that name, by the way. Still hate it. <laughs> Don't like it. They need a new name. Contorta. Ugh. Okay, but, uh, so, but I am going to do an honorable mention to Drummer in the Navu. Uh, I'm loving that we got to see some more of that. That was really cool to see the Navu. I didn't think we were going to see it again, but it makes sense. It's such a big ship that it could be used for a lot of things. People to live on for, as a weapon, and the Belters could use that. Don't know what they're going to use it for, and it's a little scary, but they could use it. And I just love seeing anything we get to see Drummer. Drama. I love drama. And my no, what something dropped. Yeah, I'll get it later. Alright, uh, um, yeah. I love drama, so the more we see of the battle. Okay, so let's go with Jules Pia Mao. So basically he's shutting down the project. He's shutting it all down, Caliban. And the problem is, um, the doctor guy whose name I cannot remember at the moment. Strickland. Strickland. Doctor Strickland. He is still experimenting on with Katoa who's, I don't know what the fuck is going on with him. It's like the protomarkle has officially kind of taken over. You get, besides Katoa popping out every, every, every once in a while, Katoa kind of pops out, but it's mostly like protomarkle is taking over. And obviously Jules Pierre Mayout did not know about the stuff going on with Strickland and Katoa. But he found out at the end. And I guess the experience, Caliban's continuing. Of course. <laughs> like, really. <laughs> So close to shutting it down, and Jules came out and said, continue to do it because he sees Katoa 
playing with some dead bodies that he's killed. Or body. I don't know if it was one or two. It kind of looked like two, but it could have just been body split in half. But that's fucking creepy. I don't know what they meant by, like, it's talking to the others. Like, what what is it doing there? I don't get what that whole splay of the body and everything it was doing was. I don't, I don't know what that was. Fucking creepy and weird, but I don't know what it is. Not at all. Alright, so let's move on to the president and Earth and Anna and all that. Boom. So, this episode was... Ugh, began kind of with them with the president's speech, who was written by, which was written by Anna originally, until fucking Sadavia changed it, the ending, and kind of made it from a speech that's supposed to see, like, hope and peace to a speech about oh, basically rallying the troops, war cry, let's kill them all, they need to be taught a lesson. Ugh, so stupid. Just get people more angry, that's gonna help. But, um, that basically causes this huge rift between Anna, the president. Anna's pissed. She's going to leave the side. Of the She's about to leave. And Sadovia is thrilled. Sadovia has done what he's wanted to do. He's manipulating the president so easily. But luckily, we do have lovely Christian who got that message out in the perfect timing to Anna with the video that proves what Sadovia has done. I don't know how Anna's going to use this, but she's smart. I have a feeling she'll know what to do. She'll find the right way in time to show the president, to get the president out of Sadovia's sight and get rid of Sadovia. My problem is I'm scared for Anna because I feel like she might die. Because going against Sadovia, you can't underestimate him. He's proven you cannot underestimate him. And I hope Anna doesn't. I hope she plays this really smart. I don't know what I would do, honestly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be rough, but... I believe in her. Okay, and we come to the final storyline of the episode, which was the Contorta crew, which and they stumble upon a junkyard of Martian ships from basically the war, that is the battles that have happened, and they go into this one Martian ship. Alex is a little iffy about it because he doesn't want to go rifle through dead bodies, but it's necessary. It's same with Bobby. She was not thrilled with it, but I think they both understood that it's kind of it's necessary. There was nothing there, and there was like they needed stuff. No one was using it. Makes sense. But while there, they found um, survivors somehow survived in there, and three Martians who pissed me the fuck off and don't like them. I'm so happy they only were here for this episode, and they can say goodbye now, because they decided they wanted to take the ship back and attacked Alex. It was, honestly, it wasn't smart for the crew to leave Alex alone with them. Not smart at all. If you're gonna leave anyone alone with them, it should have been Amos or Bobby. But Alex, really? No offense, Alex. Love you, but you're not a fighter. <laughs> so they try basically um, fighting back and taking the ship back. Luckily, Bobby shuts it down. Bobby just walks in and says, "Hey," and she actually uses. She said early in the episode that like. That she was not someone who could talk people down. That she only used brute force. She's proven herself wrong. She talked her down. She, if anyone, could relate to the Martians. Alex, kind of. But he's also an older generation. And it's been a while. Bobby Lily just had this happen to her. And she's still going through it. That I think she can connect to them. And it's really nice that she was able to talk them down. But also this episode, oh yeah, and then, um, and then there was, um, they decided to send these Martians back on their ship to go and and give them a message to send to Southern Guy, the Southern Guy that Christian knows friends with. So get, I don't know what message they're going, oh, I guess they're sending that video, sending the video to them, to him, and then also sending the video to Anna, kind of. It's smart. It's sending it to two different people, two different places. So if one happens to not make it, there's another one back up, kind of send it out. Honestly, I don't know. I wouldn't send it out to everyone. I was about to think maybe just send it, spread it out to everyone, but no. It's just more chaos is not needed. Okay, and we had some more personal stuff that happened in the episode was with uh, Christian and 
and Bobby still love them. Their chemistry is amazing. Their friendship is so cool. And we have Christian and Naomi. Still, they do not really like each other. Naomi knows that Christian is very manipulative and smart. And she sees what Christian is doing. But I think she's still kind of right. Christian's right, but she's just using manipulation to get what she wants. Which isn't always wrong, honestly. But then there's a lot of stuff with Naomi this episode about trust. Like Amos and Naomi still, Amos is not happy with her. But Naomi and Alex are still, they're getting, their friendship's getting stronger and they're bonding. And Holden and Naomi, by the end of the episode, I I see them kind of reconnecting a bit. There's some reconnection. It may ha take a little bit longer, but I think they're going to kind of get back together. And yeah, um, that's really all this episode. It was a really good episode, you guys. Very excited for the next one. As always, if you like this video and you want to support my channel and see more videos like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, press the subscribe button down below, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified right away when new videos are uploaded. Wow, that was a lot. Anyway, I'm a little out of breath. Whew. Okay, and also, comment. Comment, let me know what you thought about this episode, what you liked, didn't like, don't spoil anything, but yeah. What, what, what were your theories? What did, if you or watching this along with me, or if you have already seen this, what were your theories when you originally watched it? Let me know. Say hi. Okay. Thank you guys for watching so much. I really hope you enjoyed. Bye.